In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Flow to count the number of contacts related to a particular account. To get started, let's use a settings cog to edit the account object to store our number value for the number of related contacts. I'm creating a new field of type number, and I am going to call this contact count. And make sure that this doesn't have any decimal places, and I'm going to give this a description and help text. I'm going to press next. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to set the field as visible for everybody and pop it onto all of the page layouts. Now let's navigate into setup and search for flows. From here, I'm going to create a new flow and in this example, it's going to be a record triggered flow that is triggered off of the contact object when a record is created or updated. I am going to leave the flow as optimized for actions and related records, and I'm not going to add in any conditions here. I'm going to press done, and within my flow, the first element I want is to get the number of contacts with the same account as the triggering contact. So let's select the contact object where account ID equals the triggering record account ID. I want to store all of the records, and I am going to add a description too. Next up in my flow, I am going to open the toolbox to create a new resource called contact count. This is going to be used to store the number of contacts that my flow finds. I'm going to give it a default value of zero. Now that this has been created, I'm going to add an assignment. And what this is going to do is this is going to set my contact count variable. So it equals the count of the records found from the get contacts. So for the last step in our flow, we want to update the related account. So let's add an update record to do this. From here, I want to specify conditions to identify record. And I want to target the account object where the account ID equals the account ID from the triggering contact. I am then going to set the contact count field to the variable contact count. I'm now going to save my flow and make sure that it has a label and a description. Once I've made this active, I'm going to navigate back into Service Cloud and trigger this flow. So I'm going to navigate into the United Oil account. I'm going to go into a contact and edit this contact and then press save. This should have now triggered my flow and I'm expecting my contacts count to be four and you can see that this has worked as successfully and my record has been updated as expected. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.